Hello everyone and welcome back to another orchestration video. It's good to see y'all again here on the great old YouTubes. I do have more woodwind videos coming for you guys, but before we explore them too heavily, I figured it would be best to break down more about how these instruments are played, as well as some of the specialty playing techniques that are unique to the woodwinds. We did something similar with the strings. I figured it would be best to touch on this subject for the woodwinds as well. Now, as we explored with our general introduction video to the winds, the woodwind section uh, has a lot of ways to play vibrato, four ways in fact, and this is a good start to this sort of information, but we also have important things a composer should note as he's writing for these instruments, such as tonguing or multiphonics or any sort of specialty wind option. Now let's start with breaking down what tonguing is. Now tonguing is actually a really simple technique used to play woodwinds. And it's really simple to understand once you know how it works. It's basically how the musician will start to play almost any note on the wind instrument itself. And you can picture it sort of as them going tuh or duh into the instrument itself really fast. This technique is in fact used all the time and it will give notes a lot of faster attack and allows the wind players to play faster sections more easily. Any individual note that isn't slurred will actually be tongued once at the start. What this does is it lets that note stand out more individually. A slurred sequence of notes on the other hand will normally actually all be played in one breath instead with only the first note of the sequence being tongued or none at all. Basically what this does is it gives that flowing section of the of those slurred legato notes a more smooth transition between each note instead of having sort of this sharp start to each note. In a lot of cases, it's better to just have that on your first note of the sequence. Now this is really important to keep in mind if you want to use woodwinds in any fast section. And what these do is they basically just make it really easy for players to play faster sections, as well as give them options to make the notes stand out more instead of just blowing into the instrument. Not only that, but it's, it's actually needed if the instruments, the winds specifically, want to make anything that sounds sort of like a staccato or a staccatissimo on the winds. Because those types of notes characteristically have very short and fast attacks, it's actually very hard hard to get that sound on a wind just by blowing into it. So having that sort of explosive start to the note with that little bit of explosive breath of air actually helps that note come out. Not only that, but there are also more options for tonguing, which we can see here, including soft tonguing, flutter tongue, and slap tongue. There are also a lot of other sort of unique techniques that can be used on the winds. Musicians can click the keys to make a very, very soft, quiet percussive sound. It actually sounds very rhythmic, but it's very quiet. So this is actually something that you would use a lot in uh, softer, more quiet sections where you can actually hear this quieter percussive sound and it adds a nice little bit of ambiance in some cases. Wind instruments also have options to be muted and this is normally done by simply uh, pushing a cloth into the end of the instrument. And this option is very similar to what you would have on the strings where you mute the strings. It kind of lowers the intensity of the sound and makes it sound a little softer, a little less bright. Another very popular option is something called wind and whistle tones. These are actually made by simply blowing into the instrument without creating any sort of audible tone or note. In options such as flutes, this might be done by just blowing into the instrument differently to avoid creating any sort of audible note. Or in reed instruments, sometimes they might remove the reed and just blow into the end. And this would make a sort of wind sound. Whistle tones are also very unique because they make this sort of shrieking sound that can be heard separate from the normal sound of the strings. Most woodwinds can also do multiphonic options. And now we explored multiphonics a little bit previously in some of our earlier videos. Basically what they do is they allow a single instrument to play multiple notes at a time. It's very similar to double stops with strings in the sense that it allows you to create that extra tone. But you have to keep in mind that these options are much harder to do on winds than they are on strings, so you would need a very skilled musician in order to do multiphonic options on a woodwind instrument. And if I recall, it's not available on all of the wind instruments. All right, guys, a little bit of a shorter one today, but I felt that this information was necessary before we move forward into the rest of the woodwinds. I hope you guys found this useful. I hope it's uh, something that will help you in the future as you go on into composing. A bit less interesting this time, I know, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Anyways, guys, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.